Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I'm checking out why is we used for Allah in Korean by Norman Ali Ken. Guys, if you're new here, please to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this kind of content. Guys, let's get straight into this. <laughs> Uh, you said uh, Hua is the de default, right? That's correct, yeah. So, uh, what about we? Like, we have sent um, in the So, uh, that's You guys have great questions. You know, the answers in this course I call divine speech, but I'll tell you anyway. Okay, that's why I really like that course, because all of these questions, I collected them and I made a course out of them. Okay, but let me give you something about that. Uh, inshallah, this will take seven or eight minutes, but I think you'll appreciate it. Okay. Why is we used for Allah in the Qur'an? That's the question. First of all, let's begin with history. Uh, the Torah, the Hebrew Bible, that is still somewhat preserved with all of its editings, uses we for God in the Qur'an, we're not the only one. And I'm not talking about the Christians, I'm talking about the Jews. Do Jews believe God has a son? No. They don't. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uzair ibn Allah is a very small fraction of Jews. The Arab fraction of Jews. The vast majority of Jews do not believe Uzair is the son of Allah. They do not. I, I talk to rabbis. I hang out with them. I debate Ibrahim salam with them. I know. Okay. Jewish scholarship, most of it does not acknowledge Uzair as the son of Allah at all. One fraction of it did, the fraction that lived in Arabia. Okay. But the Jewish tradition is much bigger than what was in Arabia. So Allah refers to some Jews who said that. Not all Jews who said that. Okay. So... Christians specifically say God has a son, yes? But the Jews overwhelmingly say God does not have a son. But even they have what for, for God in their book? We. And I asked the rabbi, why do you have we? And he said, well, of course, God is royal. He's the king. And kings speak with the plural. Actually, not only kings speak in the plural, even presidents today speak in the plural. My, our president in the United States speaks in the plural. We in this administration have made blah, 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 blah. We won this election. We have made a... There's one guy, man. You, you and all your shayateen or what? What's, what's, the, what's the we for? But we is used for what? We is used for the, the collective. Now, next thing. This is important now. In the Quran, you will find different kinds of pronouns used for Allah. And to understand this problem logically, first you have to understand what, is a, what are the different kinds of pronouns. There is third person, second person, and first person. Third person means he and she and they. I'll make you remember this because I'm not talking to myself. What is third person? He and she and they. Second person is you. Second person is you. What's first person? I and we. I. What was third person again? He, she, and they. And the second person is? You. And the third per first person is what? I. I and we. Now in the Arabic language, there are six kinds of you. Anta, antuma, antum, anti, antun. There's like, you know, antuma is twice. So it's six kinds of you. You, both of you, all of you. You lady, both of you ladies, all you ladies. There's six yous. Okay, now. When in the third person, Allah uses he. Yes? In the second person, Allah uses anta, which is the singular you. Does Allah use they for himself? They? No. Does Allah use all of you for himself? No. He uses the singular third person, the singular second person. The only time he uses the plural is in which person? First person. And in first person you find ana and you find nahnu. Now, if this was actually plural, you should find it in the first person, you should also find it in the second person, and you should also find it in the third person. But do you? No, you only find it in the first person, which means it's not literally plural. If it was literally plural, it would be all three persons. That's our first step to the answer. You, you with me so far? Okay, because otherwise you would have found hum and antum and nahnu. It's not the case. That's just not the case. Now, the second issue. Nahnu is used, uh, let, let's talk about how Allah uses these persons. When Allah is being formal, 
policies or Allah is distancing himself from a group of people you will find the word he huwa in the Quran why because the third person is the most distant pronoun he's over there he's over there the he is used when it, there's a tab'id okay in balagha there's tab'id when you when he distances himself he uses he now we know where he's used where does he use anta he uses anta when the slave of Allah talks to Allah anta maulana fansurna ala alqawm alkafirin okay innaka anta tawwabur rahim when the slave talks to Allah he becomes close to Allah so he doesn't say huwa he says anta he talks to Allah so Allah gives us the opportunity to address him using anta then what's left ana and nahnu i and we i and we let me start with i cuz you the question is he should have always used i let me tell you there's a king walillahi almathal alala i just want to get a point across there's a king or there's a president we have made certain policies we have decided da 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 and somebody starts talking during his speech and he says excuse me i'm talking he doesn't say excuse me we are talking he says excuse me even though the rest of his speech was what we 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 and when he got angry he did what i okay same president talking we made these policies we sanctioned this we provided this and his baby walks by hey come here i love you everything was we but what happened i gets used when there's extreme case of love or extreme case of study the quran look for i you'll find extreme love or extreme anger you'll find tauba ana tawwabur rahim ana tauba is an extreme act of allah's love you'll find fa inni u'adhibuhu adhaban la u'adhibuhu ahadan min al-'alamin i will torture him with a torture that i will never torture anybody ever with that what is that that's anger that's anger okay allah azza wa jal talks to iblis you refuse sajda id amarnaka aw id amartuk amartuk i commanded you that shows the anger of allah get it so actually alhamdulillah allah does not use ana all the time so we can know which places are extremely special like in ramadan your dua being answered lam lam yaqul subhanahu wa ta'ala nujibu da'wat ad-da'i qal ujibu da'wat ad-da'i idha da'an fa inni qareeb lam yaqul innana qareeb inni qareeb ujibu da'wat ad-da'i idha da'an da'ani fal yastajibu lana la fal yastajibu li wal yu'minu bi la'allahum yashdu kul hadha fil mutakallim wal mufrad all singular singular person first person all for love cuz ramadan is a special love from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now what's left the question the problem word which is what nahnu nahnu is used when allah speaks in the role of a king in the role of majesty and when a king especially when a king passes big policies or when a king gives you a lot of gifts then he demonstrates his royalty so you will find more overwhelmingly when allah talks about revelation of quran which is a great gift to humanity you'll find nahnu inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun okay anzalna alayka ma anzalna alayka alkitaba litashqa okay anzala is used in cases where allah demonstrates his majesty but with bani israil he was really angry cuz they should have accepted the quran so he says wa aminu bima anzaltu musaddiqan lima ma'akum believe in what i sent down wala taqulu wala kafirin bihi don't be the first to disbelieve he wants i when he's extremely angry again nahnu for for his majesty then nahnu for when he sends water you will find allah will be talking about he created the tree he did this he did this and we sent water from the sky he'll switch over to we because water is a special majesty from allah arshuhu kan arshuhu ala alma so you see whenever water comes up most of the time it switches over to we to demonstrate allah's majesty it's awesome it's just so awesome here's the last part of this question we one of the actually the most important concept in the book of allah is the oneness of allah 
ليس كمثله شيء لا إله إلا هو الواحد الأحد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد this this is the concept of Islam this is the concept of Islam so then how does Allah protect this concept even though the word نحنو is there at the end of all of our explanation نحنو is still plural isn't it still plural so how does he protect Tawheed after using نحنو study نحنو we for Allah in the entire Quran you will find something right before or right after he will make sure that you learn that he is just one every time inna a'taynaka al-kawthar we gave you kawthar who gave you kawthar? we the next ayah pray to us no fasalli li rabbik lam yukul fasalli lana okay so that you never forget that we is about one so he switches immediately every time Every time. Uh, we sent it down in Laylatul Qadr, yes? Finish the ayah. Tanazalul Malaika too. Aha. Bi idni na? Bi idni? Rabb. Okay, now it's clear, it's just one Rabb. Get it? So ye, this, this is an amazing phenomenon in the Qur'an, the transitions of pronouns in the Qur'an. It's a remarkable study. So it's an absolutely remarkable study. Yeah. Guys, we do this, guys. And I kind of understood, understood his point. And I'm saying that after, if, when God said we, he always told you in the next verse or the verse before that, He's speaking directly to himself. And it's actually beautiful because it's also written, I am that I am. Like, we understand that God uses plural, but he also, if you are knowledgeable enough, you know that he's talking about just himself. And a few people kind of contradict it sometimes, but I believe that most times that God is using plural, he's actually talking about himself. I think Ahmed just said it's plural respect, yes. So guys, we're done with this video guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, leave your recommendation and tell me what you think about this video in the comment section guys, I'll see you next time guys.